Now we had some good showers this morning, but what we're going to be watching is this evening for the potential of strong to severe storms. That is why we have our first alert day. I want to show you what is happening right now. We have an area of low pressure just towards our west, a cold front out here towards Iowa, and then a warm front. We are in the warmer sector of this uh, system. We're in the moisture section, sector as well. That means we have all the ingredients and the lift to really get some instability and possibly cause some of those showers. Take a look outside. Notice how those clouds are getting a little bit darker out there towards the left. 70 degrees right now here in Madison. Our temperature has come up. Where you have seen some breaks in the clouds, we have seen some heating as well. Take a look at these temperatures just down towards Janesville. We're talking 79. If you go across the border, it is also very warm there in parts of northern Illinois. So this is what I think is going to be happening. We're going to be watching these areas right here up towards George County, down towards Greene County, over here towards the southeast. This is the area that I think is going to be most susceptible for seeing storms later. So I want to break it down. We're going to start the clock right now at about 6 o'clock this evening, and this is that area you can see those temperatures that we expect at about six by the time we get to about eight we start to possibly see some development coming in from the southwest then as we get to about 10 o'clock notice these storms that begin to develop now this is one forecast model that is really kind of pushing those storms to the north that is why we're going to be watching this very carefully seeing where they develop and seeing how they start to begin to track as we go towards the next couple of hours by the time we get past midnight there'll just be a few stray showers that are going to be out there and then on for the rest of the day on Friday, things looking pretty good. We're going to be seeing plenty of sunshine during the day. Wind's coming out of the north, so it's going to be drier, and we're going to be seeing those temperatures into the 70s. But as we go towards Saturday, that's not going to be the best day. We're going to see some clouds rolling in. Then we're going to be some seeing some showers by the time we get towards the afternoon. All right, temperatures going to drop down tonight to about 51 in Madison. Partyville, about 48 degrees there. And then tomorrow, beautiful day, but also temperatures into the lower 70s. Not a bad day. Drier day, sunny day as well. Be definitely a nice way to end the week. But as we go through Sunday, that is going to be the best day of the weekend. It's going to be sunny. It's going to be mild as well. Monday, not looking too bad as well either. But we are going to be watching what is happening here on Tuesday. Our next weather system begins to approach. We do uh, have a, our, a little bit of a red tag on there, so a, an impact day right now. That means we're going to be watching that for any changes in the forecast model right now. We could be seeing some thunderstorms. But, of course, it is Cinco de Mayo on Sunday. 70 degrees, beautiful day to get out there and be on the patios to have whatever you'd like to drink on Sunday. <laughs> Looks beautiful, yeah, Kevin. Those absolutely. 70s are just really, Gorgeous. really yeah. exciting. And our plants are safe, too. It's That's not right. tripping down. Yeah. All right. Well, so